this time of year in Virginia is complete and total just mushroom paradise. And the back side of our property always has hidden secrets with the mushrooms. We always find a new mushroom or just an abundance. And this time of year, they are going crazy. We've been blessed with a little bit of rain and then some warmth and that is perfect environment for all the crazy mushrooms. So let's go see what we can find. Put it in the bonfire. Yeah, that is really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Looks like it's got some iron. Yeah. It's this side's sticky. Huh. Interesting. Mushrooms are out. I'm gonna look a little bit too while I'm down here. Lion's mane should be should be out. They cleared a good portion on this trail and we're pretty far back we did want to keep our livestock in a little bit of the wooded area um, but it looks like they are they're doing pretty good so far they might be taking a break driving those t-posts in the ground i think that's the worst my least favorite farm activity that and scrubbing water troughs those two I could do 100% without. I'm definitely looking forward to having the cows down here. Um, I think they're gonna enjoy it. I think they're gonna love being in the wood line and shady spots and pasture and, you know, this is just gonna help. Oh, dear, big buck. Holy cow, do you see that buck? I heard him, I see his tail. That was a big buck. My uh, my husband, well, my son woke up this morning, probably like 5:30, and today was our first uh, first hunting day for for youth youth day, and so he was super excited. Woke up around 5:30 this morning, got up, got ready, and uh, came in. Woke my husband up and was like, "Come on, Dad, let's go," and so. I had our windows open this morning and I always listen. If I hear the firearm go off, I'll wait for the call and come down and pick them up in the side by side and help them load up. But um, my son was able to get his first, first year of the season and um, he's quite proud of it. So I'll share that picture with you guys. For us, having him be a part of what we're doing on the homestead. And if any of you guys have uh, teenagers that are into hunting, I mean, I'm sure you guys understand how, how I feel, uh, but we do definitely, obviously thank the animal for providing for us. And, um, you know, we also make it very well known to, to our children uh, that, you know, you guys are providing for the family. You guys are helping feed the family and so it's an honor and it's there's there's definitely something to be said 
especially how how excited he was. Um, so, just a little bit, but yeah, so we're really pumped. But this is looking <laughs> this is looking really awesome. Little purple mushroom. That's pretty cool. All the mushrooms are really starting to pop these days. It's always fun to see what they are and what we can do with them. Violet, are you helping find some mushrooms? Are you? <laughs> A little snail. Oh, I know what this one is. Look at that. This is the old man of the woods. I do know this one is edible, but this one is a little bit, a little too far gone. Isn't that cool? That's the old man of the woods. I'm bringing, bringing these back with me because I want to, definitely want to research this yellow one. There's another old man. This one actually looks a lot younger. So, isn't that pretty? Definitely a really awesome mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this one. I left the stock, try to at least. I know that the lion's mane mushroom typically grows this time of year and we were, we've been really lucky in the past when it comes to lion manes. And the other mushroom that I find back here quite often this time of year is the old man of the woods. And then every once in a while, there's new mushrooms that I have no idea what they are. Uh, but that is part of my homesteading journey is learning what they are and how to use them. And if they're edible or, or as my son says, every mushroom is edible at least once. Take that into consideration when you're hunting for mushrooms. So let's see what we can find. Make sure that you do research all of the mushrooms that you find and harvest prior to eating it. There are some really awesome online sources like the most Facebook pages have mushroom forms uh, specifically with your state. And if you're able to, I'm gonna bust my butt. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, sorry about that. Um, there are, a lot of people that are extremely helpful. If you're going to try to identify your mushrooms, take plenty of pictures from all different angles, even to the point on what is it growing on. Part of being able to identify what mushroom it is, is by where is it growing? What is it growing on? So that's always helpful too, especially when it comes to certain mushrooms that you're just not 100% sure of. Oh, that is some beautiful turkey tail. I might have to come back up here with my basket. There's some more on that side. Are you coming for a walk with me? See, you're not always the lazy farm dog. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are such a good girl. Violet does come with me quite often, especially when I'm up in the woods. You never know what you're gonna run into and always good to have a bodyguard, especially when it comes to being out in the woods. Look at that old man. There's another one behind it. Aren't they unique? I just think they're so cool. There's another one. And another one. Aren't they unique though? There's no gills on the bottom. It's very porous. That's what it looks like on the bottom. Very porous. The stalk has like a hair. And yeah, once you find them, you are not gonna, you're not gonna be able to mistake that for sure. You know, I've learned that when I don't have a basket with me, that is when I find all of the mushrooms. 
This entire hillside is completely covered with um, Old Man of the Woods, which is, I don't think I've ever seen them this prolific. So I might have to come back out later with a basket or two. Earth scene, holy cow. That is so big. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Look at that. That's a definitely a honeybee. Definitely dead. But it was on the old man of the woods. Look how big that is compared to my hand. That's huge. But because the bee is on it, that's actually even more interesting. Oh, poor sweet girl. I mean, it's possible that the girls were just cleaning the hive out and it just so happened to drop and land right here. The base of that tree. You see that? Yeah. It's too far gone. Oh, no. Ah. Is it? No, it's not. Well, I don't know. But that... That is a nice little hen. So there should be more. Possibly. Let me see. Still feels pretty good. Doesn't look the greatest. What kind of tree? I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to harvest it and see the stock is really big. I'm gonna leave as much as I can. Because it doesn't feel dry. doesn't feel dry. Wow. Oh, that's great. That's beautiful. And I would have liked to have gotten it a little bit sooner, but it's not bad. I might be able to, I might be able to clean it up and tincture that or eat that. We might tincture it. Might go ahead and look right there. There's a little round, is that an acorn cap? Yeah. I'll leave this let that see if it comes back, but. You want to do the pose with your catch? Hold on. <laughs> Stand on it like harvesting. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.